Hey there. So during the webinar, I mentioned I'll look at my one minute 30 EMA when I'm taking my entry off my range chart for the Swinky. And so as discussed during the webinar, if I'm getting a buy, for example, on the range chart, I'll want to be above the super trend stop, excuse me, above the 30 EMA on the one minute. Now, I always have both charts open anyway, so it's not really a big deal for me. But you do have an option. You can go ahead and plot your 30 EMA from the one minute chart onto your range chart or any other chart um, if you want to free up some space if you're not going to be using the one minute chart. So how you would do that is right click on your chart, go to series, and here you're going to add a second instrument. So I'm, this is ES, so I'm going to just add ES on here again for a second time. And now you see it's sitting there twice. So on the second one, I just I don't need the candles or anything to show, so I'm just going to go in here and I'm just going to change all these colors for um, the wicks. I'm going to change those to transparent. And I'm going to go here and do the same thing for the candle colors, changing everything to transparent. And let's see, I don't need the price marker. Okay, so now I have two data series on here. Oops. Let's fix that. Oh, there it is right there. Transparent. And then I also want to know that it's in the first panel, which is up here. You see it put it in its own panel here. So just change that to one, which is the same panel as your current price bars. There we go. So now I have the two ES's on here. Now what I'm going to do, so it's taking it from the one minute. Um, I want to make sure, so let's make sure I did that. I didn't. So let's go to the second one here. Change this to minute, one minute. Okay. So this one is the five range. That's the normal one. And then the one I just put on there, I want to be a one minute. Now, what I don't like about it is it plots the bars a little funky because of the fact that we get many range bars per one minute time period, right? So I don't like how it lays these out. You can play with it and see um, if you can get it to lay out differently. But what then you'll do is go to indicators, and then you're going to go to 30 EMA. So we're going to go EMA right here. And we're going to change it to 30. And then whatever color you want to use for it, um, I'll just put mine on black here. Black. And then right here where it says input series, I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to choose the one minute. So that 30 EMA that I just put on here is going to be using that data series that we just put on there. And we'll use close on that. Okay. And now when this plots, I'll have my 30 EMA on here, and you can see it there in black. Let me make that a little darker so you can see it. So I'm going to make it fat. Let's go to a three. Okay. So now when you look at this, you can see here that this 30 EMA is from the one minute chart. So like I said, if you're not wanting to have a one minute chart open, if you're going to opt for that as part of your entry criteria, that price be above the 30 EMA from the one minute when you're taking entries on the range chart, this is a way that you can do it. Then the other option too is you could always take that 30 EMA and give it its own panel down here. Um, and how you would do that is go back to indicators and go back to that EMA and under panel here, just give it a new panel. So this where prices prices, that's panel one. This is panel two. So let's go new panel. And okay, and so now it should plot down below here. So here it is down here. So you have a couple options if you decide that you want to do that. Okay, I hope that helps and um, let me know if you have any questions.